Plant City is a small town with a big heart. From the Railroad Museum to photo archives, it's a city where history comes alive. That's why in fall of 2018, USF journalism students teamed up with WUSF to host a storytelling event at the photo archives. We love to talk about Plant City. We think the history here is great. And given the opportunity to have Plant City people talking about their life, their community, we'll be glad to host that. The event gave people a chance to be heard. It gave them a platform they didn't have before. The stories were waiting to be told. All they needed was for someone to ask and listen. This part of Hillsborough County is, is a very different world, and they don't know much about it. The event was a reminder to be human. In a time when it's hard to see past differences, it allowed community members to connect, no matter their background. Janelle Johnson came by to share her story. She's a cancer survivor. She also has a connection to Bing House, a safe haven for minorities during the time of segregation. There was no place, no hotels or any place where they could stay. And so you had teachers who would come to the area to do their internships, they would stay there. You had entertainers who would come and stay there. Through her story, we saw what it was like for Johnson to grow up in Plant City as a black woman. There were some very good memories, you know, of coming through Plant City High School. But then there were some who were, they weren't so nice, you know, being called the N-word for no reason. One thing that makes Plant City stick out are their strawberries. They even have a strawberry festival where they crown a strawberry queen. USF alumna Hannah Benton was crowned in 2006. It was a year after she was diagnosed with Bell's palsy. The doctors kept saying your face could come back any day, but it never did. I ended up dropping out the week before the pageant. Of course, it was hard to have to miss something that I had been looking forward to for so long. My dad had looked at me and said, you know what, next year you're going to be able to do it. I just went out and figured, you know what, why not give this a whirl? And I felt so honored to be selected that night. She's now the owner of Ray Oak Boutique, which stands for Random Acts of Kindness. Nine-year-old Jaden also let us interview him before heading to Disney. His love for history made him a junior archivist at the photo archives. We look at photographs from Plant City a long time ago. We also had the chance to speak to Owen Johnson, whose family owns Plant City's beloved Fred's Market Restaurant. The Johnson family has lived in Plant City for as long as Owen can remember. A lot of generations are here, and a lot of those, a lot of those generations that grow up here tend to stay here. Owen actually met his wife at the restaurant in 2001. They got married three years later. The interviews recorded on Plant City will become part of the WUSF series, Telling Tampa Bay Stories. Everyone has a story to tell. Will you take the time to listen?